If you're looking for a police department qualification that's actually really challenging, here it is. Oh, we'll see how this goes. What is up guys, Will Workman here with Workman Protection, here to give you the skills, the tools, and the mindset to protect yourself and your family. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. It really helps us out in getting this training past the algorithm. I posted a YouTube short a while back about how I don't really like the FBI qualification. It's simple, it's really easy, and once you get 100%, there's nowhere to really go from there to challenge yourself. And unfortunately, most other police department and sheriff's office qualifications are pretty much the the same way. It's true. Once you're coming out of that beginner level, you need something more. Somebody commented and said, you should look into the old Bakersfield Police Department qualification drill. And I thought, I've seen it all before. It's a police department qualification. It's probably super easy. Boy, howdy, was I wrong. This is definitely the hardest police department qualification that I've ever seen. Pretty challenging. So I thought, we gotta give this a try. This video is sponsored by Eclipse Holsters. Eclipse Holsters has truly changed the way we shop for holsters forever. Their holsters are completely customizable with a ton of different patterns, colors, and belt clips, and even custom aluminum washers. They meet all of my holster safety requirements and they are custom made right here in America. The best part is that your holster will ship within just three days. Quality custom holsters, zero wait time, and a lifetime guarantee. Check them out at EclipseHolsters.com. You'll notice that there are two shots in the A zone already on the target. That's because I thought I pressed record and apparently not. I mean, I'm so dumb. So let's do this first one. It is simply at 10 feet and we're going to draw and fire two rounds into the A zone in under 1.5 seconds. It's going to be really tight. The way this drill is scored is it's on a uh, circular seven inch target, USPSA target or IDPA, some type of silhouette target. And the goal is to get them all in the A zone. But of course, right outside of that is down one. And if you're down in the D zone, it's down three and anything off the silhouette is an automatic uh, disqualification. This one is also shot from an open rig. So you can add some time if you're doing it from concealment, but I want to challenge myself. I know it's going to be tough to do, but I want to shoot it from concealment with the time standards that they give me. I'm just hard like that. I'm gonna draw and fire two into the A zone in 1.5 seconds. All right, my grip was not what I wanted it to be. It was 160. It was still a little bit faster than last time, so I'm okay with that. Every quarter second is a point down and a passing score is 80. So I'm already one point down because I was over the 1.5. We're gonna move back to 20 feet now. So we are at 20 feet now and we're gonna draw and fire two rounds in two seconds. Lord, make me fast and accurate. All right, both in the A zone. Pretty sure I forgot to turn on the target camera. I mean, I'm so dumb. That was in 192. So we're not down any on that one because they're both in the A zone. I'm thrilled. 30 feet now and we're gonna draw and fire two, do an emergency reload and fire two more in six seconds. Oh, we'll see how this goes. Already out one but I was well within my time, five, seven, two, but I'm already down one on the target. So we'll see how this next one goes. 60 feet is a long freaking way. This one is draw and fire two in 3.5 seconds. Before we get to that, if you are new to concealed carry or you're just trying to find a better way to conceal, then I wanna give you something that will really help you out. And that is my free guide to concealment. It's basically everything I wish I knew when I first started carrying a gun, and I want you to have it for free. So go check that out in the description down below. Draw and fire two in 3.5 seconds. Three seconds flat, three flat. All right guys, so this is where I ended up. I had this one out, and then of course I was uh, almost a quarter second over on that first one, so I'm down one there. So I scored a 98 out of 100. I'm pretty happy with that. Honestly, as you get further out, staying within that A zone is pretty darn challenging, but I'm thrilled that I got all in but one and just a little bit over in the beginning 
Definitely something to work on with drawing and firing two and under one five. That's pretty darn fast to do an A zone. Give this one a try for yourself and see where you score and let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious, do you guys think this one's pretty hard or is that just me being dramatic? Guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And until next time, be alert, stand firm in your faith, be strong, be courageous, and let all that you do be done in love. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.